Mexico so she can attend his funeral. You know, uh, that's just so sad. Uh, these people uh, that now this is the first time I'm Spanish on Spanish crime or people who victimize them should never been here. Man, you got to pay attention to uh, your surroundings. You know, when somebody break your force field, when they get too close to you, you see them, you can see them coming if you pay attention. All the, well, I don't know. Y'all have to have city life for that. You have to, you have to be in a situation where the blocks change gang by gang, uh, situation by situation. That's what made me alert to a lot of things. And uh, uh, <laughs> I stopped, y'all stopped carrying my, my 14 inch knife. So <laughs> I got two knives now and they're, they're small. I mean, they're not small, small. About maybe 12 inches. I ain't gonna play with you, Neil. I am not gonna play with you. I'm, I'm gonna cut you to death because I don't mess with nobody. But um, um, you can see these people. You 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 have to watch every movement. Uh, you can tell uh, from your parental vision a lot of times somebody's checking you out and they do it so slick, uh, especially black people. They look out the corner of their eyes but they're looking to see if they can try to uh, snatch something off you and get off the light rail like they used to do in Chicago on the uh, on a um, commuter thing. You know, they time the door and everything and they'll snatch your jury off and they be gone and you be pulling out. But uh, you have to pay attention. Um, you know, if I see somebody getting stuck up, if I can get to them, I'll help them. But but uh, you have to you have to initiate know uh, knowing what's going on and um, at least try to try to help yourself. I'm pretty sure somebody gonna jump in and help you. But uh, the Congress Secretary says it's yeah, all because shoot, man, that's, that's just a shame. The but uh, I ain't going to play nobody, man. I, shit, I gotta, You know what? I, I've got so much rage from other shit that you don't even want to, you don't even want to know. You don't even want to know me when I get mad. I have so much rage and hate for uh, black on black crime for one and, and I, oh I hate you because you think that you can take something from me as hard as I work for oh shit <laughs> you, you better hope the police get there before I get through with your ass because you ain't going to be moving and uh, it's, it's going to be all legal too because maybe you have a gun and I have a knife but I'm going to be on your ass I ain't scared of no guns. I grew up with guns. I've been in the service and stuff. I know what they can do to you. But you, you know, you have to pay attention, man. Shit. Right, as soon as somebody reach in their pocket and talking, talking shit, reach in their pocket, oh, your ass too. I bet you're going to get that hand out of there. I'm not going to cut some tendons. But uh, I don't like to think like that because... Uh, I, I, once I get to that point, I can't control myself. So I'm just kind of letting you know. But is it really a shame about that guy?